Hello everyone, today we will be doing some pastel color grading in Lightroom on this DJI drone image. If you want to follow along, feel free to download the raw file, you can find the link in the description of the video and let's go. So the very first thing you notice when looking at this image, it is rather bright and you don't see much color in the sky. That's probably the main thing I want to change here. So usually I would go on and change the profile, but in this case I think the base profile looks pretty good. So let's just leave it at that for now. Then I do want to change the white balance slightly, making it a bit colder. So let's drop the temperature. Just bringing it down a bit. And for those pastel color tones, I'm also going to introduce some more magenta tones by increasing the tint a bit. All right, now let's fix the brightness. First off, I want to bring down the exposure. This will give us some more detail and you can see how the histogram is changing nicely. So now we do have a lot more detail in the sky. However, I still want to bring down the highlights all the way just to be safe. At that point, it might look a bit strange, but we're going to fix that by bringing up the whites. And if we end up with some overexposure in the very bright areas in the sky, that's okay. I just don't want to lose too much detail in here. All right, that's looking much better. We already have much more contrast. However, I feel like the shadows are a bit too dark and you can also see that in the underexposed area right there in the histogram. So let's change that by bringing up the shadows. All right. Still, there is some unexposure. Not a big deal though. I am going to increase the blacks anyway for the soft pastel look. Yes, this works really, really good. Just like that. And by increasing the blacks, you can see how the whole image is getting a lot softer. So that's a really nice effect. Now we could introduce a little bit of texture, giving this whole image some more sharpness. And at the same time, I want to drop the clarity which helps improving the streamy look, but I'm not going too low, just a little bit. And of course we want to raise the vibrance. And I think I also want to bring up the saturation in this case. So I'm using super high values. Usually I'm not going for something like this, but I think it just looks really, really good. Of course, pastel tones are mostly not that saturated. So if you're aiming for that true pest look, I would recommend to not use that high of a vibrance and saturation. As I said, I just think it looks very, very cool this way. So now that we are done with the base adjustments, let's compare to before. You can see the colors are looking much, much better. We have some really cold shadows in here, which fits the landscape. We have more detail in the sky. We can actually see some clouds in here and the contrast looks good as well. So let's take a look at the local adjustments. On this shot, I guess I mostly will work on the sky. First off, I do want to make the very top part a little darker. So let's apply a linear gradient. And let's apply it like this. I mainly want to affect the left side, of course, because this is naturally darker than the right side where the sun is coming from. So this linear gradient is a little bit tilted right now. And in here, let's bring down the exposure. And I also want to bring down the temperature, giving this part of the sky a little more blue color cast. All right. I do think I need to adjust the size here, but I guess that looks good. I do want to apply another linear gradient for the sky, just with different size, covering a bit more of the sky like this. And again, I'm bringing down the exposure to make this part darker. Okay, that is looking good. Now let's introduce some glow on the right side where the bright light is coming from. For that part, I'm going to use a radial gradient and I'm just creating it over this bright part. Again, I'm rotating it a little bit so it fits the light from behind the mountains. Also, I'm making sure this radial gradient is overlapping the mountains to create some light bleed effect, which I personally think looks really good. So in here, let's bring up the blacks. And I'm also going to decrease the dehaze 
which works really really good as a glow effect but also at the same time is a very strong effect so be very careful here again this will lead to some overexposure in this bright area but i think that's okay let's adjust the size here a bit just like that all right now after adding the glow i also think i do want to introduce some more color in this bright part so i can do that by simply raising the white balance temperature in here giving it some more warmth and i guess i can also introduce some more tint just like that okay and that's it for the local adjustments i guess again let's compare to before sky is looking much better with a very nice glow effect on the right side let's continue doing some color grading and for sunsets like this i usually like to go into the tone curve here i'm going into the red channel and uh, you can see i actually forgot to reset those settings right here what i've done here is to pick up the point for the highlights on the right side and just drag it slightly to the left when i'm turning off the tone curve the highlights change which means i do have more red tones in the highlights after the tone curve adjustments and of course this works really really good for sunsets and sunrises the next step would be in the hsl panel here i'd want to play around with the hue first the blue color tones do have a slight purple color cast I can fix that by bringing down the blue hue and just reducing those purplish tones in here. Just like that. Now in the saturation part, I am going to push the aqua saturation and I also want to boost the blue saturation. Now I know it is very saturated, but again, I just like how it looks on this image. Finally, let's go into the split toning in the color grading panel and I want to start with the highlights. Of course, here we want to apply a warm color tone since we are working with the sunset. Let's see, this looks like a good spot for the hue and let's raise the saturation quite a bit. All right, that looks awesome. Now for the midtones, again, I want to use a warmer color tone somewhere around here and again let's bring up the saturation that's looking really good for the shadows of course we want to have some cold color tone in here this looks like a good spot again let's bring up the saturation just like that awesome again let's compare to before now we do have some really nice colors going on contrast looks really really good the glow effect is awesome as well. So it's time to head into the calibration tab all the way down in Lightroom. Here I want to drop the blue primary hue very, very slightly. This will just introduce some more red tones to those highlights, but be careful as it's also giving those blue tones more of an aqua color tone. And of course, I want to bring up the saturation here, just like that. Okay, and we are done with the color grading. Finally, of course, I also want to sharpen this image a bit. Make sure to apply some masking so only the mountains are affected. By the way, if you want to see this masking preview, hold down the Alt key while changing the masking slider so you can see which area will get sharpened. And let's push up the amount just like that. And once more, let's compare to before. You can, we can see it's much cleaner with way better color tones. So that's it for the raw adjustments within Lightroom. Now I do want to apply some more minor adjustments using Photoshop. So let's open it up in Photoshop. All right, first off, I want to get rid of this thing right there. So let's see if we can just use the spot healing brush and brush over it. Perfect. Then I'm thinking about adding some more glow on the right side. So let's create a new layer, switch the blending mode to soft light and I'm grabbing the brush tool by pressing B and let's adjust the brush opacity to not make this effect too strong. Around here is a good spot and I am holding down the Alt key and click in the sprite spot where I'm applying the glow to pick up this exact color tone right here. Could introduce some more color by pushing this point to the right. All right. 
And now let's adjust the brush, making it a little bigger. And of course, we want to have 0% hardness to make it really soft. And then I'm just carefully painting in a little glow. I think that's good for now. Let's merge those two layers. I do think I want to change the sky some more. So let's go to select and here we choose sky. So with this selection, I'm going to apply a curves adjustment layer. You can see this one is now only affecting the sky due to its layer mask. And in here, I do want to apply a simple S curve just to add some more contrast to the sky, making the shadows a little darker and the highlights a little brighter. Okay. Maybe let's bring down the opacity of this curves adjustment layer because I really don't want to overdo it, but that's looking good. Now I do want to try something different. Again, I'm going to select sky and let's head to the adjustment layers again. In here, let's choose photo filter and you can see how this one will just warm up the whole sky a little bit. I think this looks pretty good. It kind of balances out the warm color tones against the blue color tones. So let's just leave it at that. And I think before I'm getting too crazy on the edit here, I'm going to stop at this point. So I hope this video was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video.